Hates can cool. And if I could just have a few minutes of your time. Hello from the land of TV. This is King Cool. And I believe most of movie reviews go on way too long, which is why I've developed minute reviews. Well, you get your review in three minutes or less. Uh, depending. And if I go on longer than uh, I'm allowed, I get a strike. And if I get three strikes, I get a uh, draw from the penalty box. And I have to watch a movie I don't really want to see. This time, since the first one didn't really work the way I hoped, this time I've set up my microphone so that I have to phase away from the camera uh, and away from the clock so I don't know how long I'm going on for. So, let's see. Right now I have my uh, die. Right there as you can see. I can't talk with, without facing the microphone right now. Out of time. So, we shall see how long I can go on for for this movie. Der Bader Meinhof Complex. Suggested by Cool Mickey of Team GRN. I can go on for three minutes. How boring. Oh. One, two, three. Start. All right. It is sort of good I have a lot of time to talk about this one because it's sort of a sophisticated movie. And I swear my die is not weighted. It's a regular die I bought. Um, but Der Bader Meinhof Complex is about a radical left-wing group of communists um, who start up and uh, are trying to uh, f fight within uh, West Germany. Um, that which is the good Germany, as far as I'm aware. East Germany was the communist ones, and they're trying to fight using acts of terror and such things. Um, and it's a true story. And I gotta say, this is way better than most of the true story movies I've seen lately. Um, like, if, you know, things like, you know, The Social Network or whatever. None of those really thrill me because I don't get the sense of, like, sort of why it's important. And this is clearly why it's important, because these guys were terrorists. Um... But to me, all I'm thinking is, is I just hope I'm not supposed to sympathize with these people because they're just loathsome. They're, they're, you know, they're communists, which, I mean, you can be a communist and be okay, I suppose, but, you know, it's sort of, you know, my delicate American sensibi sensi sensibilities, uh, you know, but, and then they're, you know, they're young and they're sort of blobby and... Where am I going with this? I'm losing my train of thought. I can't do this in this sort of a view. They're, you know, it, it, they're anarchists for the most part. And they're terrorists. They're un completely unsympathetic. And I'm like, uh, I'm not helping I'm supposed to root for these people. I mean, I think it's more just sort of a matter-of-fact thing that this is how they were. And they talk about... And they, you know, blow up random buildings and, and things like that. You know, not, not many, apparently not many people get hurt. But it's like, well, I'm sure a lot of people were annoyed and, and terrified by these by these idiots. They keep cutting to someone who I assume is like, you know, a chancellor in Germany or something. He's not doesn't look that fancy, he has a small office, but I, I don't know what position he was. I don't remember. He might have been a DA or something who at one point has a meeting and they talk and they're like, okay, well, is terrorism the new warfare? And I thought that was an interesting point to to bring up. Um but I mean there's a sort of a reason why at a certain point we're like, yeah, we can't negotiate with terrorists anymore. At all, because, like, they're just going to do stuff and try to get things because they try to hurt people. It's like, we can't encourage that, you know? Um, what else did I think about this? I mean, one, is it's, it's kind of a long movie. Uh, I don't want to give too much... I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a faith in the fact movie. If you want to look up the facts about it, they are they were the uh, Red Faction Army, I believe it was. I was looking up stuff on uh, Wikipedia afterwards, um, and... Uh, they would, it's funny because the government never called them that. They would just call them the Bader Meinhof Gang or whatever to sort of deny them legitimacy. If they called them the RFA, you know, like an army, they would seem like, you know, the I guess the PLO or the IRA or any of those other things that that have some legitimacy in their in their uh, war making efforts. So I don't really, uh, I, mean, I I I suppose it's not really a movie to be enjoyed because you know it's about warfare. You know, you know, it's about, you know, bad people. I have to assume. I'm just, like, I'm so pitiless to these to these uh, people in their strife. And they're talking. And, like, at one point, like, oh, this big spoiler, some people go to jail at a certain point in this movie. Oh, my. Um, and they're getting thwomped on by the guards after they cause a ruckus. And it's like, am I supposed to feel bad for these guys at this point? Like, I, I can't think of the last time I was so... Uh, um, unsympathetic, and yet not certain if I was not supposed to be sympathetic. This isn't like um, Brett Reed in The Green Hornet, where it's like, wow, you are the dumbest person who's ever lived. You should 
just fall into a pool and breathe deeply is what I recommend to you. Um, with these guys, it's like, well, this, I think this is probably how they actually were. And as far as, uh, you know, as historical fiction goes, it's pretty good. I've never been a humongous fan of historical fiction. It varies greatly. But as long and it didn't start with uh, based on a true story. It started with a true story, which is I think it's it's much braver uh, to go that way. Um, I know I got some time left, so I got to think of something else to say, which is weird that two and a half hours. Is, I don't want to sp speak specifically about it because I do sort of recommend it. I'm um, certain this is a movie most people haven't heard of. It was nominated for an Oscar in 2007, like a best foreign something or other Oscar. Uh, I'm sure this is something that you guys haven't seen, and a lot of people complain about subtitles in movies. And if you complain about subtitles, be quiet. You can read. We all can read. You know. I didn't want to read while I'm doing this. I watch TV with closed captions on on purpose. I just prefer it. That's just me, though. Um, but don't let that be a barrier to seeing this. I I mean, this is why I like this show is because some people will suggest something. Hey, here's this. And there's a random something that you've never heard of. And, I, and I, I'm still sort of on the fence. I you know, recommend people check it out if you've got two and a half hours to kill. It took me sort of a while because at some point I took a break. And I'm like, all right, I got to gotta do this um at one point where you sort of think the movie could end it then goes on for an hour and it's like wow really i'm just like and i'm just like i'm pretty sick of you guys at this point but again that just might be my um delicate american sensitivities uh in that sense what else i'm certain i've i've somehow misunderstood a great deal of it um so, yeah, I can't really recommend it. Well, I, I guess I can. I mean, go check it out. I don't want to say don't see it, but I, I didn't enjoy it. But, I, you know, again, I don't know if it's to be enjoyed. I'm going to call it time. Did I not start the timer? Ah, oh, stupid thing. I'll check that uh, time in post and see if I, uh, if I uh, stayed in time or not. Because, uh, once again, the whole point of this is to not do a second take. That's it for me. I'm probably going to do a, a supplemental video. You'll see what that's about uh, in a little bit uh, from the guy who uh, who suggested this. Um, we're probably going to talk a little bit more about it because he really, really enjoyed this. And I'll give him a chance to talk. But anyway, that's it for me. If you have something you want me just to, to watch, go ahead and suggest it. I take them all into, uh, into consideration. So, uh, but anyway, this is King Cool. And please, drive home safe.